Hello everyone and welcome back to Glimmerbrook and welcome back to the Witchetty household and the Occult Rags to Riches challenge. Now I've got to say this house is looking much better than the first version. I mean that was pretty dire. I know we've still got a few things outside here but we are greatly improved. I do need to expand on this shared area um, and we have got the space for it but we just don't have the money for it. So, I think we need to do a little recap on where we're at with things. So, I've got... She's in bed, so that's fine. Um, so, we've got our three sims. So, we have Sylvia here, who is our werewolf. Now, she has just become a werewolf. Now, she needs to level up to ranch. So, we need to work out some stuff we can do with her werewolf abilities. And then we need to experience a full moon. So, at the moment, we are spring, day one of spring. And we are in a waning crescent moon. Okay. Oh, that was too much to hope for. No. Uh, so we've got to level up to run and experience a full moon. So we just have to wait for the moon to come around. Because I think we're pretty much uh, on the opposite side of things at the moment. Tonight, increase logic and reading. Huh. Oh, you know what? I've never paid attention to that before. But I will now. That's quite handy to know. Okay. So that is Sylvia, our werewolf. So she's got a little bit to do. But she isn't too bad off there. Um, I'm going to turn her off to the bathroom now. Take a feral poo. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, and she's got some werewolf ability points. Uh, what did she do? Frosty. Intimidate other sims for fun. Wolf nap. Uh, I think I'm going to do that. I'll check out the rest. Territory marking, scavenger, and personal grooming we've got. So I definitely want to do wolf nap. That's quite handy. She can just nap wherever. And then, um, let's get her doing werewolf things. Hopefully we can get those werewolf points up so she can make around Christopher Volkov. Sylvia, I need to challenge myself. A new job might be the solution. What do you think? Yes, I think you should. Off you go. So let's leave her doing that. So then we've got Seraphine now. She, oh, sorry, not Seraphine. Serena. So we've got the problem with her in that we need to get her away from this lot, which is a thousand simoleons. No, sorry, 500 to travel from the lot, but 1,000 to travel from the world. And she's got to travel to the place where vampires are. <laughs> Forgotten Hollow, that's where, that's where they are. And we need a computer to search for information on vampires. So we can't actually... Let's see if we can do it. We can't actually do that at the moment because we're off the grid. Now, to get back on the grid, we've got to pay a 10,000 fine. <laughs> So I think the more logical thing to do is actually perhaps, maybe when we go to Forgotten Hollow, we could um, search on a computer there and kill two birds with one stone as such. So I'm thinking maybe that's going to be our plan for this episode, is to uh, get Serena off to Forgotten Hollow and do her search and become a vampire at the same time. So she's got to befriend a vampire. Ugh. Seriously? Go gather some water. Um, and we'll do that. So let's see what I just got from the present. I wasn't paying any attention because I was too busy talking away there. Uh, and see what we can make from breeding frogs. So what do we get? Oh, familiar orb of the butterfly. What on earth is that? I'm a little bit scared to sell that just in case we need it. Nailed wood broom. That seems like stuff. Oh, we definitely need those wellness treats. Um, this seems like something that our witch should have. So I might give these to Seraphine. And she can have those because I'm not sure if she can do anything with those. Or oh, we can sell that, however. And maybe she can breed a frog too. 35. Is there anything else we can sell here? 30, 25. Nope, she's good. And we can sell something here, so that's good. And we can sell that too. Okay, so we're at 517. We need a thousand at least to get ourselves out of here. I'm just going to check the house. Oh! Grand Plast Chest. Well, that's our thousand simoleons sorted out. So I'm just going to check her mood, make sure that she's in a good enough mood and good enough state. So off to the toilet and then we're going to the Forgotten Hollow. That's amazing. Okay, so Sylvia, I, uh, how are you going on the, well, 
What just happened there? Did you see that? She went, boop, boop. Oh, so strange. Werewolf, uh, wolf nap, and why don't you groom yourself? <laughs> uh, and you're still sleeping, Seraphine. So you're fine. Okay, so we're going to travel. Let's go. Alright, so we'll get rid of our thousand simoleons there for travelling off-world, and we are at the Vittora's house. I was going to go to Stroud's, but, um, to Vlad's house, but, to be honest, I wasn't sure if he'd have a computer. <laughs> and I had, like, chances are that these guys would have a computer and not Vlad, so I thought this might be the better option. <laughs> if not, I'm going to have to earn another thousand and go to, like, a library or something. We're going to be friends with this dude, and he's going to turn us into a vampire. It's going to be great. I do want to have a peek inside and see if they've got a computer. <laughs> uh, clicking on me, that's not going to help, is it? Uh, discuss interests. Maybe check out the library for a book to see if that helps. Okay. Can't tell me one thing about vampires, Caleb. I guess once I get uh, turned into a vampire, then I've got the problem of um, sunshine. I forgot about that. Oh, there's Vlad. <laughs> guess we're in his neighbourhood. Okay, so I wonder how we go about. Uh, going about, going about. It's been so long since I've done the vampire thing. I really have no idea how to get back to my one. Ask the here we go. Let's see what he says. I think we're in fairly good Nick friendship wise. Let's see what he says. Is he going to say yes? Is he going to say no? Wow, I think we got bitten. Yay! Oh, now we're sucking his blood. Okay. Don't remember that at all. I want some more. Alright, so we've been bitten. I assume we just wait for stuff to happen. No, no, we've got to go in there. Knock on door. Got to find somewhere in this neighbourhood that has a computer, I hope. Uh, probably not the best neighbourhood for computers, is it? It's more ancient vampires. Let's have a look here upstairs. No, no. Ah! Okay. Drat is what I've got to say about that. What if, oh, if I travel, if I do anything but travel home, oh, I can't knock on any more doors. Okay, I'm gonna have to go home and save up another thousand. So, yay! Is there anything else I can do while I'm here? I don't think we've grown enough plants. We'll need to travel to see Vlad. Darling Vlad. Ooh. Let's take that while we're here. What else can we do? What else can we do in the Forgotten Hollow? There we go. You can tell I've had caffeine. I am singing. I'm in perky mood. There we go, and nothing else I can see. Okay, well we'll just stick those two things for now, and then we'll head home. Because I don't think there's anything else we can really do in Forgotten Hollow. Which is a shame. I'm pity they don't have like a... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I could have done without travelling to another lot, to be honest. <laughs> like an outdoor computer somehow. <laughs> That would be funny. Okay, let's go home.
All right, we're back home again. So um, we haven't quite become a vampire, but I feel like that's just going to take a little bit of time. And we need to get a thousand to uh, search on a thingy, a computer. But let's try and make our money. So I'm going to get you doing that. You can open. Oh, she loves getting excited over these presents because I like putting, pushing the wrong thing. And you can do a classic painting after that. The cats are fighting in the background, so that's cute. Why don't you give the cats some treats? And we should check if the cat food is empty. Yes, it is empty. So we got another tea brewer, which means we can sell that. Um, what else can we do money-wise with Seraphine? She can go dig that and look for frogs. Um, maybe we could send her off fishing. So we need to ramp up the money-making situation. Ah, oh, no, not fishing. Not fishing for her. Okay, so have we run out of, we run out of stuff. So it's, aha, greetings child. My ancient plasma senses, you have recently been turned. It will take a few days to fully change into a vampire, but fear not. The night awaits. Okay, groovy. Oh, we can open another little present. That's great, and I just want to see what I've got in the dumpster, because I was not paying attention at all. Uh, oh, that's right, we've got a tea brewer, so we can sell one of those, and we can't eat. So and I'm keeping the... Why am I keeping that? I don't need to keep that. Let's, not, let's just not keep anything. 2,000 simoleons. So once we have had a shower and something to eat, I might get Serena off to the library. She can do some research on a computer. Since... Oh, well, actually, you know what? We can sell this computer because I'm probably not going to get on the grid in this challenge. Let's face it. So all of that's kind of pointless. <laughs> um, oh, can go there. We need to tidy up those blocks. What a mess. So we're at 3,800. <laughs> which is great. Um, and you can open a present as well. Oh, and you've got a couple of talent points. Good job, Seraphine. What should we get with her? Knowledge is magic. Blender arm. Discharge. Incredible forager. Experimenter, spellcaster, socialite, insightful eye. Hmm. I might do reading uh, for that one, and then what's this one? You can always see magical works and collect them. Okay. I don't know what that does, but let's just do that anyhow. So we're on our way to becoming a vampire. We just need to go uh, off lot. Let's get something to eat first. And um, and do that. So I'm going to take us down to 2,800. While she eats, I will do a bit of reading. So we can make a little bit more money. Oh, we've got a semi-capsule we can open too. Sell that, can sell that. We got Yamachan, did we? Oh, 250, that's nice. I don't think we can sell that there, no. Sell that there, extract the fossil. Oh, 40 from that, back to 3000, nice. And we'll open that up. Oh, I'm angry, that's no good. What have the cats been doing? Need to sell that too. Uh, extra one of those. Oh, that's our. Oh, shoot! I didn't mean to sell that because this is our frog collection for food, isn't it? For our frog hot pots. Oh. Okay. So thirty-five, and we got Chesmond freely. Now, did we feed the cats? We did, so that's good. Uh, and we got a few things here that we can do as well. Fantastic. So we'll get rid of that to Sylvia. She can make a frog something with that. Frog hot pot. So let's breed those. And another hundred. Yeah. Ah, ah. Good stuff. Oh, and we got a postcard we can sell. Right. I don't know if I need these or not, so I'm reluctant to sell those. 
So, Serena, let's take you off. So we've already paid our fine on that. So let's go. Let's take the cats. Okay, so we are actually in Sansa Core of all things, and I've brought the cats with me. So, oh no, look at my hairy legs. Oh, that's disgusting. I'm going to wash those. I mean, shave those at some point. <laughs> that's really horrible. <laughs> anyway, we are at Sansa Coya because there is fast internet and computers. So we are going to look up vampires. <laughs> <sighs> this is an expensive aspiration. It's cost us 2,000 simoleons just to do two things. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, there. Look at those hairy legs. Not my thing, hairy legs. Okay, so we've got that tick on our aspiration. So I found all the information I can on there. Did I purchase? I purchased those already, didn't I? So while I'm here, I might actually do some programming. Why not? Then I can hack things. That's useful because I can't <laughs> use a computer at home. <laughs> so it's not really useful at all, but I guess you never know. Okay, then we can go digging there. What else can we do around here? Downtown Santa Sequoia. What can we do down here? Not too much, it seems. But that's okay. You can go play the piano. I'm going to have to get, um, actually speaking of, we need to get a few things for when we become, when we get our houses sorted out and we get a little bit more money. So for the, for the goals, for the house, so like the vampire lair, we can only use vampire pack items, which is cool, but we must have the all-inclusive luxury cruiser coffin. The Napri nap parlor organ, curtains on every window, no mirrors, and no garlic. So, I mean. Oh no! You've been my squirrel! Ah, uh, don't get sick again! Good lord. I don't know where she is. Oh, there she is. Running around. Um, okay, so anyway, and then the witch tower, uh, we must have Selene Sanctuary, which is a bed, Crystal Garden Hearth, Cauldron of Excellency, and Spellbound Bookcase. And then the werewolf hangout, we must have Avelina's Trusty Telescope, Get Bath Buff Workout Machine, uh, Junk Filled Bonfire, and Completed Moonwood Relic Display. So that one might be the toughest part of it. Sure, you can become best friends. Why not? What is, what's going on? Dragon has defeated a wild squirrel in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> so Dragon is going around fighting squirrels and I'm paying zero attention because I'm busy on the computer. <laughs> oh, squirrel. Our strong friendship got me thinking about how we should live together. Can I move in with you? <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. It's uh, a terrible idea, in fact. What am I doing? Things I have wandered off to get something. Oh, and I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, better go do that. Where am I? I've lost myself. Thanks, Alphaba. Oh, I'm just going to go to the bathroom. No, no, I'm not going to go to that bathroom. I'm going to go talk to the cat who's by a bush. Oh, good lord. Please just go to the toilet. You know, stop there. Go to the bathroom there. Here we go. We've walked past it twice. Dragon is off fighting squirrels again. She's going to get sick, isn't she? Okay, I'm going to go home. Alright, let's see my vampire off to bed. She can go to sleep. And who have we got here? So we've got Sylvia. So we need to get her... <laughs> Feels outcasted. This sim gains fury when feeling ignored. Or... Okay. So I need to work on this becoming a runt thing. So I don't really remember how to do this stuff. 
So let's try a wolf nap, see if that helps. Oh shoot, we've got bills. Um, let's get those paid. So the last thing I need at this point is for things to get taken away. I'm going to give you a shower. You can open a present and then do some painting for me. Thank you, Seraphine. Serena's got to got to sleep. Um, so does having a wolf nap help with these abilities? Did that go up? I'm generating a power surplus. An upright classic head headstone. Oh, that's a classic, isn't it? So, did you get awake? Come on. I need you to go to the bathroom, take a feral poo, and take a wild shower. I'm going to work out how to make these. My neighbour claims the teas at the Humor Hydrix Festival will make you glow like an alien or something. Show me. No. I can't go there. I don't want to spend a thousand on that. And can we do something? No, I don't want to smash that. Do not smash the fridge. Let's just get some leftovers. <laughs> okay, so Seraphine's painting away there. Uh, believe it or not, I got the new job. Good on you. Oh, let's push that. Great. Oh, okay. Yes, that is an excellent gift. You're right about that. Let's sell that. Cats are scratching the furniture. Naughty cats. Lecture about scratching. Lecture about scratching. Lecture about scratching. Okay, good. Alright. So, scavenge the ground. Let's see if that helps us. So I'd like to be able to get up to Runt at some point soon. And yes, that got up a little bit. That got up a little bit. There must be other things we can do that's werewolfy. Groom self. And scavenge ground. So if we can get ourselves up to Runt, I think uh, we can just about leave the episode there. Because I think we've had a pretty productive episode. So we've become a vamp. Well, just about become a vampire. Um, you need to go do something fun. So why don't you read. Clean up the books and then read. Oh, it's, a bear, it's the werewolf books we um, got. So how are we going? So we're still... Share werewolf experiences that might help. Um, no, I want you to read a book. Oh, I already had it in my thing. I forgot. Ah. Oh man. Okay, we can sell one of those anyway. Man, I'm an idiot. Okay, so you are going okay. So you're sharing your experiences. Hopefully that's getting your werewolf stuff up. So we're getting pretty close there. I thought I was got you to read something. What are you doing? And you know, in the next episode I'm thinking like we'll um, redo the house a little bit, so expand our common area so I'll just move the garden out and so we can get some of these things inside and maybe we can build like a proper proper porch I'm disgusted by food I'm not surprised I'm a vampire okay allow me to extend a hearty welcome to you our new friend of the Moon Collective we're so happy to have you don't hesitate to stop by our tree and spend some time with us or use the facilities though not required we gladly welcome any future our contributions to better the pack your generosity would be greatly appreciated okay if there's any other uh, werewolf things we can do, let's give them a gift. We can have some peach. So while reading about vampires, Serena learned the secrets of converting fish and frogs into tasty plasma packs. She can now make plasma packs from fish or frogs. Oh, 
Actually, that's really handy because we've got all these frogs here that um, Sylvia has. So we can turn those into plasma packs for, uh, for our lovely vampire friend. So create plasma pack, create plasma pack, create plasma pack. Not out of those ones. So maybe we should... Okay. Don't think we need to keep those in the fridge, right? Um, what else can we do that's fun? So we can sell that. We need to get her fun up. Oh, she's actually still reading too. Okay. So we're almost uh, almost there. So I'm going to end the episode as soon as we get ourselves up to a runt. So we're almost there with Sylvia. She's doing very well. Seraphine, you're doing your thing. You're all good. You can do a yoga routine. And you, I need you to go to bed. Sylvia, how are you going? Almost there. Oh, got a schmapple coffee. Nice. Almost there. Sylvia is now a werewolf runt. She is starting to get the hang of this werewolf thing. The sim has a new temperament that affects how she navigates the world and what causes fury to bubble over. Be sure to check out the new abilities too. Okay, cool. So against fury when being ignored and anti-capitalist <laughs> anti canine. Ever since the beast awakened, doubts about societal norms have begun to stir. This sim now rejects the daily grind and will gain extra fury if forced to partake in this endless crushing rat race. Okay. Cool. And what shall we choose for our ability? So we can have Voracious Hunger, Hunter, learn to hunt for food, Will to Resist, Regain Control while Rampaging, Can't Smell, and Somber Howl. Actually, I want to do that one, because uh, when they lose control, it's really annoying. Okay, well, it has been an episode. We have uh, become well on our way to becoming a vampire. We um, need to experience a full moon, otherwise we're just about finished with the werewolf initiative part of our aspiration here. And we've got our lovely Seraphine who has still got some stuff to learn, but is actually doing pretty well as far as her um, aspiration goes. She's at 2 out of 4, uh, 0 out of 4 and 0 out of uh, 1. Okay. So thanks for watching and I'm going to leave the episode there. Come back and join me in the next one to see what happens next. I think we're going to work on, uh, well we just have to wait for a small full moon. And I think we're going to wait, work on Seraphine uh, in the next episode and get some more witchy stuff done. Thanks for watching. Bye.